Chairman Moran, Ranking Member Tester and Distinguished Members of the Committee, on behalf of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America and our more than 425,000 members, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to testify here today. For nearly a decade, IAVA and the veteran community has called for immediate action by our nation's leaders to appropriately respond to the crisis of over 20 military and veterans dying every day by suicide. Thanks to the courage and leadership of veterans, military family members, and our allies, there has been progress, but the tragedy continues. According to VA data, post-9-11 veterans aged 18 to 34 continue to have the highest rate of suicide. And while not always an indicator of suicide, mental health injuries continue to disproportionately impact the post-9-11 generation. In our latest member survey, 65% of IAVA members reported service-connected PTSD and well over half report anxiety or depression. Over 60% know a post-9-11 veteran who attempted suicide or who died by suicide, an alarming 22% increase rise since 2014. Every day we are losing more of our brothers and sisters to suicide. IAVA will continue to maintain our leadership in fighting to bring these numbers down. In March, I testified before a joint hearing of the Senate and House Veterans Affairs Committee on IAVA's Big Six Priorities for 2020. The number one issue for IAVA was and remains our campaign to combat suicide, and the centerpiece of that campaign is the legislation we are talking about today, the Commander John Scott Hannon Veterans Mental Health Care Improvement Act. IAVA is extremely proud to have worked with both Chairman Moran and Ranking Member Tester on this landmark legislation, and we thank them for their important leadership on this critical issue. In March, I applauded this committee on its unanimous passage of S-785, urged your House colleagues to follow, and for the President to sign it into law. I'm here today to reiterate our strong support for this legislation and to thank the committee again for your action, which led to unanimous passage out of the Senate a month ago. The primary message I want to deliver today is to re-emphasize my belief that it would be completely irresponsible if the 116th Congress ended its legislative work this December without having at least passed the Commander Hannon Act. There's been plenty of talk, but not nearly enough action to address the worsening crisis of veteran and military suicide, and we are literally at a crossroads. 2020 can be the year where we join together to pass much-needed legislation to take the next big step to combat this crisis. However, IAVA is deeply concerned for the current path forward for the Commando Hannon Act. While we appreciate the House Committee's well-intentioned efforts to add new provisions to the legislation, we have strong concerns that given the limited number of legislative days and the upcoming elections, there will likely not be enough time to negotiate and pass this legislation by the end of the year. We believe that the best and most responsible way forward for our nation's veterans is for the House to take up S-785 as passed unanimously by the Senate. Following an act enactment, we strongly encourage the committees to consider additional provisions in a new package of legislation. While passage of the Commander Hannon Act will go a long way in improving the delivery of mental health care to our veteran community, we know that our job will still not be done. Thank you again for the opportunity to share IAVA's views and to express the importance of passing the Commander John Scott Hannon Veterans Mental Health Care Improvement Act this year. I look forward to answering your questions and continuing to work with the committees. Thanks. Mr. Butler, thank you very much for your clear uh, testimony.